Idle Manager is PlaySM's newest release on the Nintendo Switch, but the game is also available on the PC as well. Giving all the tools to the player to not just control the lives of these virtual idols, but also starting an enterprise from the ground up is something that this game tries to nail down and for the most part it shines bright, but there are some console specific issues that holds it back just a little bit. So you essentially start out as a young talent evaluator getting mixed up with a rather shady character whose past is best not known much about. He works as pretty much your funds provider and off you go. To start out you're given a rather small amount of space to get an office, hire some trainers and of course recruit the idols themselves but soon after you'll be expanding outwards and upwards if you play your cards right. When I say that you have full control of these idols I really mean it. You can set the parameters to allow them to date, post on social media, level up a certain attribute, the works. All of it is timer based and you'll gradually shape up some of those lacking idols into superstars at a cost. Everything that you do costs money and this can be anything from hiring new coaches, producing music, advertising, expanding the office and everything else. It quickly becomes apparent that the game is all about accruing funds to stay afloat and keep the ladies as happy as possible. It must be said that the first few hours are tutorial heavy and there's a lot to take in. Each one of the idol has a slew of stats to manage where you have skills, traits to unlock and make sure you send them out on many photo shoots or even get them a gig at a variety TV show in a wide variety of ways to continually amass capital. Keeping their physical and mental stress in mind is also a key since they can burn out and leads to bad situations or even losing them for long periods of time. If you don't pay them enough, they can also get upset, which also leads to rebellious acts and a wide variety of terrible situations, especially the more idols you have to manage all at once. While the game does give you some vague pointers in the story mode, which is the first thing you should probably learn to play as to get used to the controls, eventually it feels like it runs out of steam once you get things going and the money flowing. Which is why I appreciated the free play option so you can approach things on your very own way at your very own pace. One of my biggest issues is the controls for the console release. Essentially on PC you play this with a mouse and keyboard, but on consoles you're left to using a cursor with a thumbstick to move around and confirming prompts on the screen. It feels both sluggish and sometimes completely unresponsive. It would have gone a long way for the developers to come up with a proper UI for the console release. I spent most of my time playing this on the Nintendo Switch OLED and it looks great there, but there are some text issues that sometimes essentially they look kind of small. On the Switch Lite this issue is more pronounced as well. Performance wise there's really nothing to report, the game runs really well without any sort of hiccups. Idle Manager manages to capture some of the dark side of the industry but also falls short in properly letting you enjoy all of it unless you accommodate yourself to the sluggish controls and somewhat lackluster story mode. Nintendo's Fear gives Idle Manager on the Nintendo Switch a 7 out of 10. If you're brand new to my channel be sure to leave a like and subscribe, hit the bell to receive notifications when the videos go up and as always thank you so much for watching. See ya.